I'm humbled. I like the energy in the room. Yeah. Uh, before I start, I want to recognize my sister who traveled to be here and the Nebraska family. Um, I want us to think about this apple. I know each one of us have eaten an apple in America <laughs> because it's one of the, you know, the common fruit in America. I want you to think about how many seeds are in this one apple. Um, seven years ago, I completed university just like any one of us here. And I went out there, you know, thinking like, wow, now I'm starting a life. So I went out to look for a job. So uh, when I went out to look for the job, I remember the first attempt I did was to go to an Indian shop. Uh, when I went there, I found this wonderful man who saw me, and the first thing he thought was like, I'm a beggar. Just like I think some of you people, when you go back, like back home, when people see someone who is differently able like me, they sometimes think like, oh, she needs help. Oh, she needs some money and all that. Because we have so many sweet people who are just like me. So he thought that was, you know, my strategy of just going into his shop to get something. So I told him, no, like, I've come to get a job and say, oh, no, we, we don't have any. So I walked out. I remember I went back home and I cried. I'm like, oh, my God, this is bad, you know. Um, then after that, I talked to one of my mentor and told her, you know what, this is what is happening. And then she told me, oh, Vicky, do you know what? I think uh, my advice could be is like, you've been into advocacy. I was a minister for people with disability at my university. Uh, uh, in my primary, I was a head girl. So I had that energy of, you know, advocacy and all that. But then I was like, yeah, this is right. I can go and fight for the right for people who are differently able like me. But who is going to go out there and change the narrative of how people look at me and think I'm a beggar? So I went ahead. I didn't go to the you know, uh, organization for people with disability. I went to a normal organization. Luckily enough, I got an employment in an in energy industry called Umeme. Umeme, we sell electricity. We are the biggest distribution company in East Africa, uh, and we are over 1,500 people. That's a big, mega, you know, organized uh, industry. So I went there, I went through the same process, just like anyone of us here. And um, I remember in my interview, they asked me, how will you maneuver, you know, getting up to those stairs? And then I told them, I think I've been living a life of people helping me out. And I believe it's a one challenge I would overcome. So I went through that and I've been working for Meme for seven years. I work as a health, safety, and environmental administrator and coordinator. This is a big, huge, you know, opportunity for me. And every time I'm out there training people in safety and healthy, representing my company on the national level, when you Google about my name, you just get to see how amazing thing I've been working for Umeme, and everyone knows me. The 1,500, everyone knows Vicky. Why am I doing that? Because I'm trying to preach that disability is not inability. And I've seen the change in people's attitude when I'm out there trying to tell them it's not about my, me being in a wheelchair. It's about what I can bring back on the table. And that's where I felt like I needed to do more to see how can we, as people who are differently abled, can go out there and change more. And that's where I found Tunaweza Foundation. And Tunaweza Foundation, we work with women and youth with disability to help them discover their potential. Uh, someone was telling me, are you very smart? Right now, what I'm putting on right, right now is for, it's made by someone who is differently abled night. You can see my necklace is one of the best, I don't know. It's so unique. It's done by Mylene. She's differently abled. So what am I trying to preach here? Disability is not inability. As I'm ending, I want you to see this apple. This apple means that it's, if it's put the, 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 the seed I told you, when we put these seeds in the, in the, in, in the soil, they germinate into a tree. And then the tree bears the fruits. And those fruits is what I'm talking about. That fruit could be Victor, and that fruit could be your, your, your neighbor, someone you've been passing by and think they can't be. 
and they can bear fruits. Thank you so much. To Naweza, yes, we can.